The flagship lounge here in DFW Terminal D is a fantastic part of interna international itinerary. Folks, this is Bill with Dine, Drink, Travel. It is February of 2024, and what I want to do today is show you this lounge. You get into it automatically if you have a first or a business class ticket on American Airlines across an ocean or a few other long haul itineraries. You can also get into it if you have an economy class ticket on a long haul flight um, and you have elite level frequent flyer status. But it's great, like they've got really nice wines there. The wines they have here are actually better than the wines they have on the airplane. This Piper Heidsick, you saw a little booth as we came in, they would pour you a glass right as you came in. They've got unlimited varieties of it, which as a complimentary offering goes, is amazing. They've also got really good food and beverage offerings. So they've got sodas and bottles of water. Um, I ought to actually take one of these Topo Chico's on the plane with me. Again, uh, pour your own sodas and then folks your own bar. You just serve yourself. They've got Bloody Mary service, which I don't know if it was an earlier in the day flight I might do. The liquors aren't absolutely top shelf, but they're really good. And again, you can pour your own. You can have whatever you want and as much of it as you would like, as long as you're not becoming wildly inappropriate. The coffee is great, particularly for this late afternoon flight for me. Um, yeah, you can get whatever you want. You've got to create your own tacos. I don't know that I'll try that later on. You've got several other food options here, but it's this hot buffet that really makes the the event for us right you can see the options here but kind of regardless of what your dietary preferences are they're going to have something that meets your needs let's come over here and take a look at what some of the food options are i don't know that i'm going to eat here today because i've got access to the first class dining lounge it's a little bit separate but this stuff looks really good like it's fresh i've seen them rotate stock several times so it's not stuff that's just been left out and honestly, I don't know that this is a, be a better food than I get on most of the, um, the business class flights that I'm on. So let's take a walk through the space. And one of the things that I notice is you've got just gorgeous views of the tarmac. Now, maybe that's a me thing, but it's something I really enjoy being able to just look out at the airplanes that we're going to fly on, including the one for my flight to London later today. Now, of course, one of the benefits of, of a lounge like this is that you've got access to restrooms and critically, you've got showers. So if you have a regular Admirals Club, you would have the restrooms, but the showers aren't a thing there anymore. They actually don't do a great job with power plugs here, but they've got some so you can charge your devices. But if you're in business class on a transatlantic or trans-Pacific flight, you're going to be able to charge your devices on the plane anyway. One of the things that's a little bit disappointing is this place was more crowded than I thought it would be. But still, we've been here for a couple of hours and it's always possible to find seats. What we did almost as soon as we got in is go into Flagship First Dining. Now, you don't have access to Flagship First Dining just by coming into the lounge. You've either got to be flying in first class or you have to have paid an upcharge on your business class ticket. I think they call it um, business class premium or something like that. But it was an amazing facility. Look for my video a bit separately. They've got a TV room towards the back. We'll go take a look at it. They've got another beverage station. They've been doing a really good job of keeping snacks out. They've got lots and lots of coffee. I wish they had, actually, no, I don't think they do have to-go cups out today. They've got fruit. They've got candy. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of candy to take with me on the plane because sometimes it's just kind of nice to be able to have that. Um, those chocolates. Are really good i tried some of those earlier another soda machine another one of the water and sparkling water machines they're doing a good job of keeping staff around to keep tables clean for whenever you do um get up so you can find a seat the quiet room i really like the lounge chairs are nice but sometimes you want to sit and do your work sometimes you want to sit and relax and you don't want to be next to the person yapping on a cell phone the whole time Here's the TV room where I'm pretty sure we're going to wait later on today, but it's a mostly quiet space. We got a couple of TVs going, um, generic news channels, sports channels, stuff like that. But it's a good place to relax before your flight. Coming around towards the end of the space, this is the end of the lounge. It looks like there's another check-in area, although it's not open today. 
So again, folks, this is the flagship lounge in Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, Terminal D. You get access to it if you're a One World frequent flyer or an American Airlines frequent flyer on a long-haul journey. So not your mid-con domestic flights, but if you're flying across an ocean. You also, even if you're not an elite, or you can get access to it just with a purchase business class ticket. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please support the channel by clicking like and subscribe. Thanks so much and happy travels.